It's what you've always dreamed about. Choosing the name, picking a niche, hiring a team, creating a culture, building a community, watching your trainer, staff, and fitness club members grow and thrive. There's so many fun and exciting things about starting your own fitness studio, but the one thing, maybe the only thing that's not so fun is figuring out how you're going to pay for it. That's what we're here for. In this video, we're gonna break down the two main ways you can finance your fitness startup, along with some tips on how to qualify. And we'll lead with some good news. Right now, with the economy in recovery mode, the US government has made it easier than it has been in a long time. If that's something you think will help, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. All right, let's roll the intro. Hi, my name is Mateo Baker. I have more than 25 years of experience working in the fitness industry. I've managed gyms for golds all over the globe, including their world famous Venice Beach location. And I founded and ran my own award-winning high-end fitness studio in Santa Monica, California called 220 Fitness. Now I'm working with Spirit Commercial Fitness, an equipment manufacturer that's been in the fitness game for longer than I have, providing full lines of cardio, selectorized, plate-loaded machines, and even benches and cages. Spirit's commercial line is known in the business for its superb engineering, high-tech features, and incredible value. The company also employs a team of people who specialize in helping up-and-coming fitness entrepreneurs get off the ground. I'm not gonna beat around the bush today. Fact is, going into debt is scary, but sometimes, oftentimes, it's unavoidable if you wanna start your own business. That's especially true for a fitness startup with its large overhead costs, including leases, operations, marketing, equipment, and so on. Which is why financing your new gym or personal training studio is usually an important step to realizing your dream of being your own boss. When it comes to fitness startups, you pretty much have two main options, an equipment finance agreement or an SBA loan. We'll start with that one since you've probably heard of it before. SBA stands for Small Business Association government organization created to connect entrepreneurs with lenders. An SBA loan can be used to pay for almost everything related to your fitness startup, from buying or leasing a building, to equipment costs, to various operating expenses. And the amount can range between $5,000 and $5 million. It truly can vary. Other upsides include low interest rates, favorable repayment terms, and a low down payment. And back to that good news, for any loan secured through September 30th, 2021, the SBA is covering payments for the first six months. So that has the potential to save you a ton of money. Many banks are also lowering the fees that they charge for these loans, but you still have to qualify. That's probably one of the biggest downsides to the SBA loan. There's tons of scrutiny. According to the lenders we talked to for this video, you'll need a credit score of at least 650. And the bank that issues that loan will want to know everything about how you're planning to run your business. That's where good business plans come in. By the way, we did a whole webinar about writing a fitness startup business plan. Look for the link in the description below. Other downsides of an SBA loan include the length of time it takes, between two to three months to secure the loan. There's a lot of risk involved because it often involves putting your assets on the line. That brings us to the second main way you can finance your fitness studio startup, the equipment finance agreement. If an SBA loan is like a mortgage, the equipment finance agreement is like a car loan. It's for a lot less money, no more than $150,000, and it also only covers a very specific use covering the cost of your fitness equipment. Some upsides are it's fast. You can have this kind of loan approved in less than 24 hours after applying. There's a lot less scrutiny involved. Some downsides, interest rates can be a little higher than the SBA loan, and you'll also likely need an even better credit score. If you're hearing that and realizing that you don't have good enough credit to qualify for either of these types of loans, don't worry. The next video we're putting out is focused on other creative ways to fund your gym startup. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and smash that like button. And if you're looking for more information on financing, shoot us an email at 
b.brown at dieco.com and we'll connect you with several great resources on this. Don't forget to check out our website as well. That does it for this video. We'll catch you on the next one.